Alright, you guys didn't like my last jailbreak video, so I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna do it a little bit faster and, well, with better mic quality. Pretty much what you're gonna do is download the files on the right of the screen. My left, your right. And once you have those downloaded, you're gonna download the iPod ones if you have an iPod and the iPhone ones if you have an iPhone and you're going to click once you have those downloaded you're going to click uh, browse IS IPSW you're going to find the regular IPSW not the custom one you're just going to find that and then you're going to click open and then you're going to click I owner I'm not doing it with you guys so it's a little bit faster you're just going to click I owner or if you want to make your own you can click IPSW builder and make your own custom logos but if you don't want a custom logo, then just do it with the custom one that I give you. And then you just can click I owner. And you're going to wait a little bit of time. Then a message is going to pop up and it's going to say, your iTunes has been owned. Then you're just going to click OK. You're going to close out of win own. And you're going to put your iPod in DFU mode. And what DFU mode is, it's kind of like recovery mode, but not exactly. How to get into DFU mode, what you're going to do is... It's like you're going into recovery mode. You're going to press the uh, sleep button, the power off button, and the uh, home button. So you're going to hold the home button and the sleep button or the power off button, whatever you want to call it. You're going to hold that for 10 seconds, and then you're going to let go of the power button and just keep holding the home button. And there should be no Apple logo or connect to iTunes logo that pops up. It's just going to be blank like a black screen and then what you're going to do is go onto your iTunes let me get this up it's probably gonna take a little bit of time my computer's pretty slow right now doing like a hundred and one things and you're gonna go to your iPod or iPhone like I'm on now and then you're going to go down and it's going to say that it found an iPod or it's gonna say it found an iPhone in recovery mode you have to restore it before you can use it or something like that. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go over to... Let me get this. It's kind of small. You're going to go to restore, but instead of just clicking it, you're going to shift click. So you're going to hold down shift and click. And it's taking some time. Again. Okay, wait. And this is going to pop up, and you're going to find the custom firmware that either you created or you downloaded from me. You're just going to click that, and then you're going to click open. And then it's going to restore your iPod with a jailbroken firmware, and that's all you have to do. If you have any questions or comments, just ask me and subscribe.